so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket and microsoft has released a new library called as pomel p o m l prompt orchestration markup language which is a programming language for prompt engineering yes you heard it right the library is trending on github right now and it's quite useful when you're building real world applications for generative ai and writing long prompts it can actually help you structure your prompts and looks very similar to html so let's get started before we jump on to the details of formal i'd be showing you how to get started and first of all let me show you demonstration then we'll talk about its key features so i'd be using the vs code extension for now to demonstrate you the power of formal so i hope you already have POM, uh, vs code installed in your system if not kindly do that and first of all we need to install the pommel extension so go to extensions and here is the pommel extension present here disable uninstall you need to install it once done you need to go to the settings of pommel and in the settings you need to provide your api key and the llm provider so right now it doesn't support olama unfortunately it supports google gen ai azure open ai just open ai and anthropic as well so you need to provide your api and the provider in this particular setting section google gen ai is free hence that particular api you can create from google ai studio and paste it here so once you are done with this you need to write a formal script so let's see this one test.pommel that i have written and if you look very closely this looks very similar to an HTML file, but just the tags have changed. Pommel starts, Pommel end. Role, you are a patient teacher explaining concepts to a 10 year old. Then you provide the task, task ends, you are providing an image URL if present. What is the output format? So very, very similar to HTML, but for prompting. And here you can see that now it would be helping you to structure a prompt very clearly. Now, if I click here, this is the preview of the prompt that you have created now for the LLM to feed in. Role, task, output format. So this is how using Pommel you are able to create your prompt using programming language. This is very very crucial when you are building real world applications and writing long prompts for changing and stuff. So I think for me this looks very useful and I will be trying it out for longer prompts as well. So this is how Pommel works. You create a test.pommel file, write this code, and eventually when you preview it, it actually inputs this particular prompt to the LLM. And here multiple things also. IR debug mode or rendered context and style sheet, etc. This looks quite fantastic and very much helpful for programmers who don't want to like wrong blogs of text so once i think now this should be clear how pommel works and how you can get started with it in vs code let's jump on to its key details microsoft pommel programming language for prompting the full form is prompt orchestration markup language very similar to html what is pommel it's a markup language for structuring prompts it has tags like role task example as you just now saw breaks prompt into structured components Supports styling like CSS as well and enables templating with variable and logic. The, here is a simple example that I showed you. And here this example can also be seen. We are providing a role, task, etc. Talking about the key features, it has diverse file support. It can embed words, PDF, CSV, audio and whatnot. You just need to provide tags, document or tab table very similar to HTML. Got VS Code integration as I just showed you. Components category. Prompt engineering is present. You can also support few short learning by giving a tag example. Control flows are also there. You can also run a loop or variables like let can be used. And styling systems are also present. Talking about the components and structuring. Different components are present for logic, for intention, for data, for logic, etc. Special tags are also present like hint, caption paragraph, global styling rules, question answer pairs, etc. Which is quite exciting. I think looking at this particular language, I'm very much excited. And it can be a great boon when you're writing long prompts. 
development tools i think it also provides with vs code extension a python sdk is also present node.js sdk is as well present and a compiler is also there the workflow looks like this you write a formal file compile it to text and send it to llm straight away it turns prompt engineering into software engineering i think this is the key they are trying to bring in and i think it's quite useful too community feedback the feedback has been great for now llms don't care about formatting unless they are trained to this feels like programming language llms to program this isn't structure for the llm it's structure for devs just remember that this is more for software developers who don't like writing long blobs of prompts right pros and cons uh, many pros i think provide structure to your long prompts complex prompts reusability vs code tools variable and logic as well present in the html sort of file and styling system is also present multiple issues are also there no doubt about it extra abstraction when you can write a single paragraph why to give it a programming touch verbose syntax no dot net sdk is present lm training may not recognize format so it you need to make sure that the lm is also compatible with pommel and more complexity for simple prompts that's quite obvious if you are writing just one liner i think pommel won't be even required recommendation when to use it complex prompts team collaboration reusable templates needs to be created when to avoid it simple one off prompts quick experiments evaluation checklist is it easy, easier to maintain for you is it clarify thinking is it improving collaboration or is it breaking anything or not so with this it's a wrap i think you try out microsoft formal looks interesting to me a very different take towards prompt engineering and i hope everyone tries it out and give your feedback in the comment section thank you so much